Prepare to be online. Written and read by Chris Hyde. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. John chapter 1, verses 1 to 5. Today I was watching my mother on a bus. She was en route to visit her cousin in a coffee shop. No big deal, right? Well, she was 180 miles away from me. I was following her by using a mapping app, which allows for satellite tracking. She can follow me, and I can follow her. We can also message instantly, of course. A quick tap on the phone, and my message pings instantly on her device, despite the immense distance between us. We're all connected. Messages, videos, it's so easy. We've even got chatbots organising conversations for us. Our modern day existence ebbs and flows in a sea of words and images. Online communication seems to be the key enabler for us to work, rest and play. I mean, the chance is that you're even listening to this devotional online. The other night I was thinking about this subject while staring up at the dark night sky. I won't portray a sense of poetry by saying there were stars twinkling, because there weren't, at least not to my naked eye. But I felt sombre looking at that indifferent deepness of hidden space. I knew that all around me the world was communicating, and yet God was still there, almost silent. I say almost because Jesus Christ is the King of communicators, to such an extent that he is called the Word. We say so much in our text messages, emails and apps, but it's also meaningless if not embedded in the Word. All that needs to be said is fulfilled in him. So, let's pray to be online with God, to receive the word from the word, calm our restless, internet-tuned minds, and embrace the true life and light, which is simply him. Let's pray. Father God of the heavenly lights, I pray to you this day in the name of the word, Jesus Christ, who loved me enough to die for me. I am privileged to pray by the leading of your gift, the Holy Spirit. I want to thank you for your patience with me. You see me when I am distracted on my phone, tablet or PC, and you still wait for me. During my days when I get so pulled towards the idolatry of consumerism and self-worship, you forgive me. When I am tempted to think that man is capable of anything as I am awed by the gadgets and technological advances, you remind me that you alone are the true doorway to creativity. When I believe the lie that the online world is proper living, you bring me back to reality. I am perplexed, my dear Lord, that you still want my company. I love you ever, and I am so glad of your love for me and for my family. Give me wisdom to obey your will, for I know obedience with a delay is not obedience. I ask for a gift of maturity too, as I use technology in my daily life. Direct me to use these tools for your glory. Remind me to use my time, not waste it. Help me to bear fruit as I communicate with others, because, at all times, I represent you. Amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.